Since I was a child, I was told that God is everywhere, that everything that's around us reflects the love of God. I was told that He could hear and see everything, and that He was always by my side. But if that's true, how come I felt so lonely? How come I could never feel His presence? How come I felt like nobody could see me or hear me? How come even when I went out and was surrounded by people, I felt like I was caged, locked inside of myself, outside of what a human should be? That made me think of all the evil that goes on in the world. How can a God be so good and let His children suffer? I went to church one day, hoping that I would feel some sort of magical feeling, that something miraculously would happen and would completely change my mind forever. Well, that didn't happen. Although I did come across an old priest as I was leaving. I guess he noticed the misery on my face as I laughed because he asked me, What's wrong, child? I was through, so I looked around and said, This is what's wrong. All of this is wrong. How am I supposed to believe that there is a God when all I see around me is suffering? He said, Do you expect that a baby will understand why he has to take bitter medicines? Or why did his parents, who he thought loved him so much, would allow him to be perforated by a huge needle? Don't try to understand God and what he does. You will never be able to. Just accept that. When I left, I didn't really know what to think. My mind was pretty blown by that information. I'm not gonna lie, that didn't light up anything inside of me or suddenly made me feel the love of God. But I understood. I understood that feeling the presence of God is a privilege and not an obligation. I finally understood what it means to have faith, to trust Him, to know that He knows everything, more than you could possibly understand in your miserable human being's little body. <laughs> It's too a challenge to me, you know, to trust Him in everything. But now I know that faith is a daily challenge that I have to practice every day. I know that He loves me unconditionally, even though I might not always feel His, his tenderness, His love, and His compassion. In the end, I learned that God's silence is His presence, not His absence.